Um, we're back. Um, there was kind of very, a very interesting software update. Um, and it's kind of funny, in my last video I showed you how Apple has its own software updater uh, within Windows uh, platform. And one of them was for, I believe, Boot Camp was uh, for graphic drivers. So I went ahead and updated it uh, after my last video. And there's been some really big changes that um, it'd be interesting to look at. So um, right here, the menu selection um, gives you two now. And uh, I'm just going to bring up the new window, which is right here. So it looks much different from the last one. Now, most interesting, if you click on the advanced button right here, um, it brings up what it looks like the old interface. Um, so on the left is the, what the old one looks like, and on the right is the new one. Um, now, the old one, the, the, supposedly, well, it's not really the old one, but what they did is they moved um, the general preferences um, to the uh, I guess AMD Fire Pro settings and then leave the advanced in the old interface I'm not sure why they did that uh, I usually prefer to have all my settings for something like graphics driver in one interface instead of bringing up two but um, that's kind of interesting the way uh, they did that um, in a certain way I do like the new interface but we're gonna kinda go over some of it if you look here updates uh, well, you got preferences as well, but if you look at the update section here, you can check for updates. Um, but I did notice something really weird. For some reason, it uh, brings up uh, two new ones, and they're not even for um, the Fire Pro. They're actually, uh, I can't even remember, it will bring up the release notes. Uh, for the Crimson Edition, it's really made for the regular um, consumer uh, Radeon series AMD but for some reason they're bringing it up uh, up that they shouldn't really bring up these selections if you are running uh, Fire Pro and vice versa because you don't want to really install you know a different set um, so I thought that was kind of weird they do that now if you click on applications um, actually let me go back here I missed one uh, we got some. No uh, it also has kind of a notification center right here. Uh, in, in this case, new software updates. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't integrate, I guess, with um, um, notification center. At least it doesn't seem like it does. Yeah, I didn't see any. But yeah, you do have notifications as well. That's kind of new. Uh, once you go to applications um, and global settings, you'll see all the settings that they took out of the older interface and these are just generalized ones and for the advanced you got to go back to the old one uh, I'm not sure why they did that like I said um, but what is very interesting is they have a new tab called global overdrive which is really for overclocking and to me it's kind of weird they did that because usually on a workstation graphic card uh, such as the Fire Pro or even the NVIDIA Quattro, um, you don't want to overdrive or overclock your graphic cards because it was uh, workstation graphic cards primarily for stability uh, and for performance in pro applications. So it's kind of weird they would add that in there. But um, here's, um, oh, okay, this seems to be working right here. If you look down here on the left, before these. Um, dial indicators weren't working they were just showing the the lowest setting um, like GPU clock was set at 300 and then 150 for the lowest one but maybe I didn't restart it but we'll see so um, these uh, you can overclock certain aspects obviously the GPU clock um, the average speed is supposed to be set at 850 megahertz here you can go all the way up to 950 memory clock um, the average is uh, 1370 megahertz. You can go all the way up to 1475. Um, not really a large selection, but then again, you don't really want to go overclock it too much. Then you get instability. And power control is at, um, a lot of times when you overclock, you need to up the voltage a little bit to get it to overclock um, correctly. And here you got that um, uh, as well. And then obviously a lot of times when you overclock 
Now the fan speed should automatically compensate, but if not, you can set this manually and up the cooling fan because obviously you can overclock, you can get higher temperatures. Uh, now they do have something here as well where you can set it up and down or increase here. And then when you release, um, you can apply this card or whatever. We're just going to uh, discard that because we're going to, we're, I don't really want to overclock my uh, video card. Um, I don't particularly game and I, uh, uh, stability is more important to me. So um, let me see. I think they have a few other choices here, but like I said, most of these are already in the old version. And um, okay, here's one for iFinity. I only have one. Um, monitor and um, I don't know if some of this has been added some of this I haven't seen before they actually set up the system information a lot better than the old one and uh, so there you go there's a new app application uh, or new driver for Fire Pro series on the 2013 Mac Pro uh, in Windows 10